hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to tube station gaming so today i'm back with another trick video that is how to play your xbox game or how to stream your xbox games to your steam deck so if you are willing to play your xbox games remotely if you want to stream your xbox games remotely on your steam deck then yes there is a way and i'm going to tell you today like how to do it so just stay tuned to the video and just don't skip it as in just watch it with all the steps that I'm telling you only then you will be able to configure it so considering all of that just you know stay tuned and yes do subscribe to the channel as well do like the video as well for you guys I keep on coming up with these kind of tricks because I have also faced difficulties in configuring and also used to think like how to play my games on Xbox if I want to play it on the go or I'm just into some different room and my console is in different room then I want to play it remotely so yes and if I want to play it lying down on the bed so this is where it will help you definitely and anywhere if you want to play it like anywhere uh, without any further ado let's start with the tutorial video and just you now consider subscribing as well thank you so much for all the love and support you have given me so i'm all about to touch 900 subscribers to so just help me into reaching that and then yes 2000 that i'm actually hoping for so i'm just looking forward to hit 1k by next month so if you will be like really helpful and really really appreciate my work then definitely i'll be touching it this month itself so yes do support and yes let's start with the tutorial video and let's move to my steam deck screen now so yes now i'm at my steam decks uh, desktop mode and as soon as you open your desktop mode you just have to open two um, links that I will link it down in the description as well. One is related to Xbox client that you have to download. That is a main application. And the other one is related to App Image Launcher. So the App Image Launcher is a SteamOS version. So it will help this particular client to run. So basically I'm going to choose this part, the latest version of 2.0.0 beta 6. Under this, if you have to just download this green light beta 6 app image version over here as you can see once you'll download it will go into the download section the other thing you have to do is to open this particular app image launcher this link i will also put it in the description you can definitely check it out and you can download the latest release version of app image launcher as soon as you go into the page you will find x86 64 app image so you have to download this so as soon as you will download it it will go under the download section as you can see app image launcher over here and the green light version which you have downloaded it's over here so the only thing you have to do now you have to open the console from your steam menu you just have to open the console and as soon as the console will open you just have to drag and drop to drag and drop this particular inside this console and just have to write install ahead of it let me show you since I've already installed it so it might not get installed but yes I will just And you need to hit enter now see it's saying that it has been installed already so it cannot be installed again but yet yeah, this is how you're going to install the app image launcher and the next thing you have to, you have do, to do in order to install this green light application you just have to if you go to your home you will see this application folder over here and over here the green you just have to drag and drop the green light app image over here and it will automatically install in the steam so if you go into the steam and you will search for all applications you will see green light over here as you can see green light has already installed and now you have to boot up green light so once the green light is booted up it will ask you for your microsoft login account you have to just log in with your account now it will load up and yes you are into your green light xbox client 
and now you can see your xbox series x is already been as in detected you, you just have to click on start stream if the console is on once you're going to click on start stream it will start uh, connecting with your console remotely and you will see the screen of your xbox like this so now this is what we have done inside our desktop mode now we have to configure this into our gaming mode as well so for that let's, let's move to steam now you are into stream as you can see green light app is already configured you just have to do just uh, the way you do for all the non steam games you have to go to add game you have to click on non steam game you will find the green light application inside this library just click on that select it and add into your steam library or from there and now you have to go to properties and over here because currently it will launch into windowed mode so if you want this application to launch into the full screen mode so for that you have to write this two hyphens then you have to write full screen okay so in in this way it will the application will start in the full screen mode otherwise it will start in the windowed mode so that you won't be liking in in the gaming mode of the steam deck so yeah everything is done and dusted now now what we have to do we have to return to okay now i'm back into the gaming mode as you can see green light beta version is already there on my recent games so i just have to open it before that you have to configure your controller as well so under controller you have to select gamepad with mouse trackpad and then go to edit layout then under edit layout you have to go to joysticks you have to select r3 as right stick click other than this trackpad you have to go to r and you have to select as a left mouse click and the l click left trackpad behavior you have to select n key so that is for the xbox menu so this is how you're going to open your xbox menu you have to select n key now all is done and you to select play it will load as normal steam game and as you can see it will again ask for so it has launched into full screen mode it has asked for the login you just have to do continue it will login into your xbox account and there you go again you got the same thing your xbox has been detected you have to click on start stream and you are all set to go now as you can see you are on your xbox screen everything is working fine now if you click on the, this trackpad it will open the xbox menu so this is how it is working let me show you some gameplay as well as you can see over here your entire xbox screen is there then if i go to my games and apps i can see all my gaming library apps games full library is also accessible over here and let me show you and demonstrate one game as well let's start with forza horizon 5 first so yes xbox game pass and to be honest uh, the emulation or you can say the streaming is pretty good if you're on a 5 gigahertz of network then it's going to run flawless and you'll be blown away by the performance as well and here the further rhythm starts there won't be lagging sound or anything you your gameplay experience will be flawless like i said Place on Earth. It's a very beautiful game. If you what haven't tried Cold War Horizon 5, then you should. It's an amazing open world racing simulation. Everything is there. If you are into cars, then this is the game for you. The wonder and beauty of Mexico. You are definitely going to feel the goosebumps as soon as this game starts. Experience true freedom. And the background music is very touching. So this is the intro movie which is going on. I'm going to show you the gameplay as well. 
So all the settings and everything, fidelity mode, performance mode, you have to yes. select it. That will be run through your Xbox. Definitely, just to get that the game is streaming on Steam Deck. Sometimes you just have to let go and enjoy the ride. And yes, we have our very first car. Start. Set it and then you have to configure it to your trackpad or game pack. You have to select it to your Steam Deck itself. That I will explain you how to do it. As you can see, the Forza Horizon 5 runs smoothly. Yes, while playing it on Steam Deck, if you are on your PC screen as well, you can use the Steam Deck as a controller. So that is also a thing which we can definitely experience. Phenomenal. Some of the game. Let's play Shadow Warrior 3. Time for this scaly son of a bitch to kick the bucket. Okay, let's start. Okay. 
dead. I ain't eat much of a living. Out for the way. Go out with the bang. Together. You may have to help you one night. A lot of competition right now. That was refreshing. Check, please. Ah, nothing like the smell of fresh air. it and then this is how you can configure your xbox series x or series s or any of the xbox console on your steam deck and you can play it remotely through xbox streaming app thank you so much for joining and yes if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and if you like the content then definitely do check it out share this video like this video and i'll see you in the next one till then happy gaming and stay safe